A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 5th Feb. On the front page you have no decision yet on Pan India NRC. Minister tells Parliament. So this is Minister of State for Home who has informed the Parliament now on 4th Feb 2020 that government is in discussion with the states having concerns in regards to preparation of NPR, National Population Register, which is done for the census. But uh, for NRC, it says no decision has been taken yet. While Minister of Home, uh, Mr. Amit Shah had said on December 9, 2019 that there is no need for creation of background for NRC. We are clear that NRC should be done in this country. A manifesto is the background. So this is a, that during NPR also it is said no verification of citizenship or document collection would be done. So this is the Minister of State statement. Then this is why no action on pleas on Tamil Nadu MLA's disqualification asked Supreme Court. The Supreme Court gave Tamil Nadu speaker a week's time to inform when he will take cognizance of the disqualification petitions filed under the 10th schedule against Deputy Chief Minister and 10 other AIADMK MLAs for voting against the confidence motion moved by Chief Minister Edapaddi Palaniswamy. So this is Feb 2017 case. So it happened in Feb 2017. So court has given speaker one week's time to inform when he will decide. So, AIADMK actually divided after Jalalitha's demise and uh, we are seeing now that uh, one faction which is in power, so uh, this disqualification petition which is there, on that no action has been taken by the speaker because it's a deputy CM involved, you can see. Then this is love jihad not defined under law. So, the central government has stated that the term love jihad is not defined under the law and no such case has been reported by any of the central agencies. So the term love jihad you know, is quite often used uh, as such in cases in which uh, a Hindu girl marries a Muslim man. So, two cases in Kerala involving interfaith marriages had been probed by NIA, National Investigation Agency. The Hadia case as such had come very prominent. Then this is two in quarantine for new coronavirus flee to Saudi. So two persons who had returned from China recently in Kerala and were under observation and have now left the country for Saudi Arabia. So this is violating state health department's instructions to remain under home quarantine. So 28 day incubation period of the virus for that time and the person has to stay in quarantine but they left. On page 5 you have CM to dedicate UNESCO certificate for Jaipur. So, Rajasthan Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot will dedicate United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, that is UNESCO World Heritage Site Certificate for Jaipur to the people at a function in uh, Jaipur itself. So, here you can see Jaip UNESCO declared Jaipur, which is the, also called the World City, famous for its grid plan-based architecture and buildings. It has been constructed with a pink facade. So, it was declared a World Heritage Site in July 2019. So, the International Council on Monuments and Sites earlier inspected the city in 2018 after its nomination and it was given this certificate. So, the architecture of its streets, uh, you know, they intersect the center creating large public square called Chopars. So, that is the architectural structure of the city. The uniform package of markets, residences and temples in the main streets, you know, so, all this has given it a World Heritage Site status. So, the capital city Jaipur, it was founded in 1727 by then Kachawaha Kacha Rajput ruler of Amber, Savai Jai Singh. So, it's called Jaipur. The city was established on the plains and built according to a grid plan, interpreted in the light of Vedic architecture. On page 8, you have FIR against two IPS officers in IMA scam. So, this is I monetary advisory scam. So, CBI has booked 10 persons including two IPS officers from Karnataka in connection with this scam. So, the registration of case is after Karnataka government gave its nod for investigation. So, here you can see the IMA group actually this is I monetary advisory. So, this was a group which collected 4,000 crore from thousands of investors offering high rates of returns on the investments since 2013. And this is a scam which has now been unordered. So, repeated alerts from RBI has come since 2016 about unauthorized collections by the group. Then, below you have here also you have Syro Malabar Church 
firm on its stand on Lao Jihad. So this is Syro Malabar Church. The bishops here, as such, as had said that it uh, you know, love jihad is happening and Christian girls are being lured into inter religious love affairs and some of them have also joined it is claimed terrorist organizations such as Islamic State. So this had resulted in protests even here in Jan 2020 and the statement uh, from the church uh, you know about this the union home ministry has issued clarification on the issue in Lok Sabha it said that there were no instances of love jihad as such reported in Kerala. And there is no law on this. And below you have Healing Christ statue enters URF Book of World Records. So this is a trimetal sculpture of Jesus Christ, Healing Christ, on the central courtyard of Believers Church Medical College Hospital in Thiruval. So this has entered into Universal Record Forums Book of World Records. So you can see this uh, statue it is trimetal statue it is made of zinc copper and uh, aluminium so you know and this is another called veluthium which is actually an alloy of tin and aluminium so that has been used in this trimetal statue it was unveiled in 2014. Thiruvalla is in Kerala so this is the church in Kerala on page 9 you have this will come to know when the case is decided so at that time this is seven in hundred Anganwadi beneficiaries in cities so for every hundred Anganwadi beneficiaries in the country only seven are in the urban areas according to government's response as such to an RTI so because several lack uh, severe lack of Anganwadi in cities leads to poor coverage of government's flagship program ICDS in early childhood development it is said only 55 lakh registered for scheme at urban centers so here you can see so out of 100, only 7 are in cities. So we had seen earlier too how the government had spoken of having a uh, revamped ICDS program in urban areas. So Niti Aayog has prepared a draft working paper on it too. So this is the background we made, a data been shown through an RTI that there are very few Agadwaris in cities compared to rural areas. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Need of the R. So, this is regarding religious persecution. So, the, the central government, it is said, was stop privo, privileging religious persecution over other forms. So, persecution can take place for any matter. So, what Citizenship Amendment Act does is, it is saying, if you are undergoing religious persecution, then you can get citizenship of the country. So, this is a privilege being given because of religious persecution. So, this editorial speaks against that. And this is punish the police. So this is regarding the Bidar case, which uh, you know, happened in Karnataka. So, so action taken by the police against a private school in Bidar. So here children were being questioned. So the sustained harassment of school children as such. On, and this was against uh, on the issue of Citizenship Amendment Act protests. So children were being questioned. So, this involves both misuse of law and police high-handedness. So, this is an editorial on that. The lead article is continuity and fiscal follow-through. So, this is regarding the 15th Finance Commission. It says, by and large, it has gone with the approach and methodology of earlier commissions. So, this is on the recommendations of 15th Finance Commission, which has submitted its uh, draft report. So, report has to be, uh, one report was submitted in October 2019. And now it has had its term extended. So another report from 15 Finance Commission has come forward. So you should know its recommendation. So this is important. And this is a case of maritime presence adrift. So India's negligible presence and intervention in international maritime organization. The article says this is affecting India's interests. So you should know about international maritime organization. It's a UN agency tasked with regulating shipping and uh, you know has mandated that merchant ships should not burn fuel with sulfur content greater than 0.5 percent and this has come into effect from first gen 2020. so india has to have a significant role here so this is also important you should know about imo then on opet page you have how to reduce rrc's administrative burden so this article says that citizens should not be asked to provide the same information more than once to government agencies 
so that's how it, how it happens that you know one's only principle is what it is asking for p o o p the one's only principle means you should not be again and again asked for documents at every uh, by every government agency and this is regarding indian ocean region it says as natural calamities in indian ocean region are becoming frequent india's regional security role is likely to grow so this is in the context of operation manila which india conducted in madagascar which suffered from floods so it's uh, amphibious warship ins eravat sent uh, uh, food clothing medicines to madagascar so this is regarding that navy to the rescue and this is regarding uh, disaster management so it is beyond preparedness long term recovery is a key aspect of disaster management but it is neglected in the disaster management act of 2005 So this, so. on page 13 you have maharashtra tops list of states hit by global medical data leak so medical details of over 120 million indian patients have been leaked and made freely available on the internet so this has been stated by a german cyber security firm and a huge number is from maharashtra so this is a cause of concern you can see then here you have 6 months on top jnk leader remains leaders remain in jail so there is no respite for farooq abdullah umar abdullah mahbooba mufti they still remain uh, under arrest and this is no rules were broken says ncbs so they have been under the scanner the government we had seen how it ordered a study ordered an inquiry into the study which was conducted in nagaland by researchers from various countries it was a multinational research by us chinese and indian uh, researchers so this was a research on bats and bat hunters who were carriers of antibodies to deadly viruses like ebola as such so The, the, it was questioned how they got samples from bats and humans what rules they had flouted rules was claim but the researchers say that no rules were broken so this is ncbs national center for biological sciences so the researchers based at ncbs had also collected samples of serum from bats and humans so these samples were tested at ncbs with technology supplied by Duke National University of Singapore Medical School, and uh, it says no rules were violated. On international page, you have again regarding uh, presidential elections in USA. We can skip this. This is regarding uh, new coronavirus. First virus death has been reported now in Hong Kong. And below you have. Pakistan Parliament passes resolution on Kashmir. So now Pakistan Parliament has unanimously passed a resolution, and it has asked India to undo undo the move on Article three seven. On business page, only important news here is ten percent TDS only on mutual fund dividends. So government has clarified that mutual fund houses must deduct ten percent tax on source on dividends. So uh, direct uh, the dividend distribution tax has been eliminated, but 10% DDS would be applicable only on dividends or uh, as such, or whether any capital gains arising at the time of redemption they would be taxed. So, so, yeah. so that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.